What's up Lagos? What's up Nigeria? This is Movie Buff. My name is Observe Superstar International. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know easy to look fine. Check it out. You know what it is people. Alright guys, today I'm going out here to see a movie put together by Tadi Ogidon. The name of this film is called Gold Statue. Yo, this film hopefully will blow your mind. But someone I feel everybody should watch out for is Gabriel Afolayon. And also, this woman I love so much in the Nigerian film industry, Shola Shobawali. Yo, and some comedians also played some roles in this movie. But we'll go out there to see it, and when we come back, I'll give you more gist. Don't go anywhere, movie buff, you know what it is. Hi, my name is Tadeo Ogidon. I'm a filmmaker and a television producer. Keep watching movie buff on Unilag TV. Mic check, mic check. What's up Lagos, what's up Nigeria? This is Movie Buff. Now from the ambience so far, you can easily tell that we are at a cinema where of course we are here to watch a movie premiere put together by this man that does not need too much of an introduction. He is a legend in the Nigerian film industry. He goes by the name Tade Ogidon. And of course this movie will blow your mind. The name of this film is called Gold Statue. Now, from the synopsis so far, well, we believe that this film talks about two young persons who believe that their grandfather has a hidden treasure somewhere in the West. And of course, did they get that treasure or did they not get that treasure? All of this you'll find out when we see this movie. But again, I'll be taking crews, guests, people who have actually come to grace this film to ask questions. What do they expect? What do they look at for? What do you think? Have we seen a story like this before or is it fresh out of the pot? Don't go anywhere. This is Movie Buff. My name is Obzer. Verbal history narrates that the statue of Ye Ye molded with gold. Pure gold. Your grandpa believes in the existence of the gold. <laughs> grandpa, oh. just tell me where this thing is. It's simple now. I'm going to type things on it. I'll put it on Google. If anybody types your name, Grandpa is sure. Boom! Who is Google? <laughs> Alright, Lego City, I have this amazing young man. I've had opportunity to see him on television several times, also on several series. And um, he also starred in this movie. Now you've worked with several producers, all kind of producers. Yeah. Compare the people you've worked with to Tyler Wigidon's work. What do you have to say? Um, I wouldn't, I don't usually like comparing. Everyone has their own um, strengths and um, no, I can't. Um, everyone has their strengths and um, everyone has a uniqueness to them. Okay. Um, it's my first time of working with Tadi Okudon, which has, wow. I, I mean, I, I've, I, I've seen stuff of his. Um, oh, what was that one he did with RM, uh, with, um, Ramsey Noah, where he played a twin and okay, uh, okay. the diamond ring, okay. uh, huge classics. And um, I had the opportunity of working with him. He's, he's a very phenomenal producer and director as well. Hmm. Uh, what got to me was his very gentle demeanor, uh, very respectful, but because his, 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 um, his aura he really comes out. Uh, right. But what's really what really got to me was his doggedness. Mm. He's very focused on what he wants, very determined, and one of the most hardworking people I've come across. For you, the script, is it the predictable script? Not at all. I mean, even what, I, I usually tell scripts from when I read it. A, a, a script tells you everything. Okay. And, um, you know, it kept throwing me off. It, it, it seemed like he was going along, you know, just going along smoothly. But at every point in time, I mean, there were always roadblocks, um, twists, uh, if I may say, at every point in time. Even, the, even till I got to the end, I never ever thought it would get to that. So, um, very suspenseful, which is quite um, difficult for a comedy to do. It's a wow. comedy, and, yeah, and for you to have that suspenseful thing about it, um, I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he did it for such a huge cast and you know especially the parts of the prison the comedy there was so fantastic i don't know how he did it lego city i've had this opportunity again to be one person again who played a very significant role in the movie we just actually gone out to see um so for you 
I must say, are you a comedian? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm far from that. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. What's are you? What's up with the gray hair? Uh, it's natural. I got gray hair. Okay, so yeah. so for you, um, what what should I call you now? Now for you, is this the major theme that you've played so far for you? This is the big one for you. Oh, this is the biggest project I've. You know, this is the biggest project my my career. Wow. You know, so. Um, yeah, so I mean, being part of it is 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 like a dream come true. How how you know? how was it working with Tadeo again? Easy, so difficult. How was it? Um, I've worked with him before, so okay. you know, when when he said, "Oh, you're on this, you're on this set," and all that, I knew what to expect. You know, and I didn't get anything less. What was the most difficult part for you to play? Um. I mean, it's a job, you know. Okay. You can't, you can't really say, "Oh, this is the difficult part." This is, it's, it's a job. You go in, you do your best, you know, and you, you come out and hope that people like you want to interview and be like, "Oh, we liked your film and all that," you know. So yeah. I don't know. My mom actually loves you so much, <laughs> and you. I don't really know how, what to really say now. But I must say, you are a blessing to the Nigerian movie industry. Um, to be very honest, you are a blessing. First, I saw your name, and I knew this. Beat is gonna be a masterclass. So for you, um, is this your first time working with Tadeo Gidon? I beg your pardon. I've been with Tadeo. I've been. I'm Tadeo Gidon. Tadeo Gidon is me. He's my brother and the sister. So you know, we've been together for ages. What I did was to see that character in you. I wanted you to just bring it out. You know, yo, in case you all do not know, she is a natural. That is something about you. Ma, for you, for um, for how long? been in this industry for how long um, over 30 years wow. over 30 years 30 years wow. jesus which has been the most difficult one for you to play none 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 absolutely none so for you when you saw the script of this movie what was your take when you saw the script first of all Tanya coming back hmm. <laughs> was a masterpiece because because of we've been waiting Actually, me, I've been waiting because I've been disturbing him. Tade, what are you waiting for? Hmm. Let's make history. Let's do this again because anything Tade touches you know, turns to gold. And because he's a good storyteller, he knows what he's doing. He's a fantastic director. He's a fantastic writer. Everything about Tade you know, is just one point. And when, I, when, I, when the script was given to me, I said, what am I doing? And I said, mother. I said, thank you very much because I am a mother. And to have that just eyes on the cake. You know, I'm looking at you and I'm surprised that yo, Nashi, oh, Nashi. No, um, Lego City, this, uh, for me, this is the best I've seen so far. Um, for me, I, I must say, apart from the comedy and everything, do you, are you like that? Is that how you, is, are you natural? Is that just you? I'm down to earth. I'm a natural person. No wow. two ways. What you see is what you get. Jesus Christ, you always have this expression. <laughs> I must say you are a, once again a blessing to the Nigerian film industry. Um, apart from being in Nollywood picture, do we see you going out maybe in Hollywood or something? Do I'm waiting. Okay. And then bring the bat and I'm ready to run. All right, Lego City still speaking about the whole entire crew. I have this one beside me. She's looking hot and dope. Are you married? I'm going on with you. All right, I'm just joking. Now, it's good to have you. So for you, I don't even know the word to use, sincerely speaking, um, because it was really, it was overwhelming to work with a living legend, you know, he's one of the kind, the, the people that inspired people like me to want to be in this industry, you know, a lot of his films are, we can't even put them in a class with other Nollywood films, so being in a project with him alone, it's like free film school. You wow. know, I, 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 I learned so much from him and I learned so much. He doesn't compromise. If he wants to get something, he gets it done properly. You know, so it was amazing. It was really, really amazing. And coming to see what, you know, was made out of it. I can tell I'm you, speechless. you are so excited. I'm speechless. Like, I screamed and screamed and screamed and screamed. And I'm like, yo. You know, you do some things and you're so proud, mm. you know, to have been a part of it and stuff like this, it just makes you say, yes, this is the reason why I'm here, you have know. There been any, have there been a point in the course of production that you feel, yo, I'm not doing this anymore? Not this job. 
<laughs> this job was, the, it, it's a kind of project that you get the script, you read it, and if you, can we achieve this? This looks larger than life. Can we achieve this? And then you remember, oh, well, I'm working with a veteran that likes doing things larger than life. All his films are larger than life. Okay, let me put you on the spot. 500,000 Naira. <laughs> it's really not to work with Adi. 500,000, are you high? How much is 500,000? <laughs> that's like, how much? Are we spend that in how many seconds? <laughs> nah, that's nothing. Um, I, I would work for him even if it's for free because what you get from his set, I don't think money can buy. Who's that? His name is Samuel Lupin. Ah, I'm be your God! Ah, how can he be going to prison in Russia? It is not possible! On his way to prison? I drove him to the motor park myself. Your mom package you enter here. Give you rice, give you chicken, give you everything. Drink, juice, to oppress people when they're here, right? You think this place about the house? Okay, okay. Mark my words. I will personally make sure that your life is miserable in this place. Copper. I've bonded with the people of something. Yeah. I wish to remain here till my time is up. I am very proud of this boy. I don't come back for your mother, man. Like, like, you don't go chance me tonight. I know you. I didn't tell you, you don't go. You. You abandon your home only to end up in Elisha. Feasting prisoners. I will keep you. See, the um, part of the um, criminals. <laughs> <laughs> just an actor. Part of the criminals. Inmate and the fame, he's just an actor, but again, he did an amazing, an amazing job. And um, I want to ask you one or two questions. First, are you a comedian? <laughs> they call me an Hollywood bad boy, but you know, when you talk about movies, you have to your input should depict every aspect action, comedy, and all that. Make people laugh, make impact. So is, is this your first time working with Tadeo Gidon? Honestly, this is my first time working with Tadeo Gidon, and I will say I never regretted it. I want to keep working with him as far as he's working. <laughs> wow. So for you, your character, the character you played, was it a difficult, at, at, at any time in, in the script, did you feel the, the, the character was difficult to play? Actually, when I read the script, I was like, ah, this is the major antagonist in the prison. Yeah. I knew it was going to be tough. With uh, the actors surrounding me, the people I'm antagonizing. And... But there's one good thing about me. A good actor is a good actor. Mm. I had to put on my best. I had to work harder. Knowing the kind of people directing me, the code. Tadeo Guidon and the co-director Simeon Paul Lua and all that I had to put my, I had to work harder, mm -hmm. you know. Try to collate all I have learned about acting and put them into practice. Mm. So for you, that's moving. That's moving. Is this your biggest project? Yes, I have done big projects before, but this is the biggest Nigerian movie ever shot in Nigeria. I rate it as the biggest West African movie. Wow. Because eyes are yet to see. The world is yet to see Ghost Tattoo. Is this your first time working with Adi Wikido? Yes, it is. It's my first time. How, what was the feeling like? As in, I have no words. I'm blown away. Like. I learned a lot. I had so many things from him. He's, a, he's an amazing person. Not not talk about an amazing director. The assistant director. So I assisted Uncle Tade, and I was five months pregnant while I was doing that. So, oh Jesus, yeah. that's that's it was beautiful. An amazing experience for me, and he made it so easy for me because he communicated easily, you know, frequently. He's just an amazing person. How long have you been working with him? Okay, this is my first time of working with, with him. Actually, it was my dream. So I'm so excited that it finally happened, you know. So, an amazing time. An amazing time. It is Joy in the Air, Lagos City. It is an amazing movie that we've just seen. Gold statue. Some of us actually, we, we almost want to call it Golden Statue. For you, sir, what is your take on this movie? 
it was superb. It was superb. It was great. I, I tell you, I couldn't have expected less from Chadi Obido. Uh, we've worked together for over 30 years, you know. Wow. And I know he's thinking, I know his mind, when he settled down to put scripts together. Mm. He doesn't take it at once, he could take it, yes. He keeps the twisting and the turning. And that's what he has done with that film. At every moment something keeps happening and all of that, the twist will keep will glue to your seat. And then amazing materials, amazing shots, amazing soundtracks, all sorts that will actually make a good, very good movie. No doubt about it, this is a film that will keep anybody on the seat, keep you glue. You want to see the end, you want to see, and then every minute you're seeing another thing, you're seeing another thing, from comedy to a well-detailed story to pictures, all everything involved, quality, quality, real quality. So for you, looking at, when you got the script that far, were you surprised? Like I told you, I won't be surprised what Tadio would do. I won't be in doubt. I mean, we work together. I know how his mind works. And it doesn't take him just a go to do whatever he wants to do. He put this stuff together. When he called me, it has been the same way because when we did that morning, it was the same thing. I mean, somebody just came to my door at about 12 midnight, he sent a, 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 a professional assistant to come and pick me at 12, 12 midnight. Where are we going? We're going to Belagran. Belagran at 12 midnight. My wife likes. Well, my wife was like, Tadi, Belagran at 12, uh, 12 midnight. Well, we had to go there. And he knows, I mean, because it's the comedy aspect he wanted to get from me. And we had to sit down together. How, how do we do? What do exactly do we want? We want it this way. So the trust I have in him, I think he also has the same trust in me that, come on, when he give me, I'll handle it. If my memory serves me right, you took the prayer in the prison. The prayer, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jesus! <laughs> Lagos City, you all need to see this movie and actually watch out for this man. He gave us one serious prayer in that movie. I'm telling you, for prisoners. Trust me, you need to watch it. Don't let me tell you, you need to watch it so that you get. So, uh, before I let you go so far, do we expect anything new from you, sir? I'm working on a couple of things, film and series as usual. You know, uh, if you know, we have Palace back. You remember Palace? Yeah, yeah. It's back on air on AIT. Wow, we tend to do it higher heights, but again, I'm working on a film. I'm working on a film. I'm sure we'll make a bang. I don't want to make my, I don't make, I don't really, really talk about my work. But I know, I guess something that the audience will have to really go. Um, Lego City, uh, this is what media does for you. Media will give you your heroes. Media will put them in front of you and film will preserve them. So, if I tell you how old I was when I watched Diamond Ring, you wouldn't believe it. Don't let me tell the audience how old I am. Let's keep it. Let's, Let's keep, keep it. it. But... You've been on this for over a decade, if not more than a decade. What do you mean, being on this? What? You've been in this industry for a very, very Only long time. Only one decade, of course not. Jesus! I've been in this since 19, 1981, 82. Not 91, or 80. Some people were not born. They've not, they've not given birth to me, to be very honest. They've not given birth to me. So, sir, for you, what inspires this story? I've written this story since 1991. Wow! Look, I just sit and things come and then you start to piece them together. That's how I write. Wow. Sometimes I'm in a foul mood or something. Or I'm just bored. And you're just thinking, hmm, something could happen this way. Something could... You know, sometimes... Uh, what was it? We were looking for something. I think it was at home and we couldn't find it. And I was pretty... I was pretty worried about it. And then it turned out that we were looking in the right place. Mm. And then I said, oh, something important can actually be lost forever like this. And another generation will wake up and say, wow, I found this, you know. So that's how, so I, 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 I pieced it together. And over time, then you, you say, let me put dialogue to this. And then over time, you, you polish it and make it interesting. For how long did this production take? We started to shoot this in June 2017. But you see, we were done with the bulk of the drama. The statue was not ready. Wow. So, yeah. Uh, by the time they brought the statue, the artists, we had to let them go. And then we had to really re-strategize. 
so I, I've seen the movie. We're all inside watching the movie, and everybody was happy. Thanks to me. I was yeah. saying, go and see it first. Yeah, you kept. He so, kept on. He kept on saying, that I should actually so go and see. I have something to say now. I'm wow. happy. I mean, everybody even talks about the cast is blah. The cast is blah. You know, uh, we bonded nicely. Everybody loved the story. Verbal history narrates that the statue of Ye Ye molded with gold. Pure gold. Your grandpa believes in the existence of the gold. <laughs> grandpa, oh. just tell me where this thing is. It's simple now. I'm going to type things on it. I'll put it on Google. If anybody types your name, Grandpa is sure. Boom! Where is Google? At least we can see the area that is narrowed down is in the modern day Elisha. It's a prison. A what? Elisha prison. So what you're saying is that we should blow up the prison so you can get underneath. Come on, guys. Five? Hundred million dollars is at stake here. Both of you are going to have to commit a crime and get jail sentence. I reject it over to fiat. Wally. Who's Wally? His name is Samuel Lupon. Help me, help me, help me. Ah! How can he be going to prison in Lesha? It is not possible. On his way to prison, I drove him to the motor park myself. Your man package you enter here. Give you rice, give you chicken, give you everything, drink, juice. To so oppress people where they are, right? You think that is best about the house? Okay, okay. Mark my words. I will personally make sure that your life is miserable in this place. Copper. I've bonded with the people of Sunday. Yeah. I wish to remain here till my time is up. I am very proud of this boy. As you don't come up for your mother, man, like, like, you don't go chance me tonight. I know you. I didn't tell you, you don't go. You. You abandon your home only to end up in Elisha. Fisting prisoners? I will keep doing it. The sister says you have uh, spent inside prisons. I pray that you will double it. Hold it there. I'll shoot you. I have got this gut feeling that we're going to. Get that massive goal. Yo, what's up? What's happening? I can see smiles on people's face. No, not really. You can only see smiles on my own face. But trust me, this movie is beautiful. It's an amazing piece. The message is boom. Well, to some extent, I thought at some point I could tell where this movie was going to. But yo, I couldn't. Man, title get on. Thumbs up. You guys did an amazing, amazing, amazing job. I want to recommend this movie for everybody. Go out there and watch it. Yo, one thing again that happened to me during the premiering, I saw Shola Shobowale and I almost cried. Hmm. I also met Tadeo Gidon. He is an amazing producer and also a scriptwriter. Lego City, everybody watching right now, go out there and see this movie. This movie will blow your mind. This movie is for everybody, but young, old, child, anything. Go and watch it and be happy. You remember these people? See a movie and be happy. This is how far I can go today. My name is Observe. Keeping it real for you guys. Catch me up this same place, this same time. You know what it is. Movie buff. I'm out. Boom.